So what we have here is a very uh, simplified and small store to beef cattle system uh, with cattle finished off grass uh, trying to reach the peak price for beef in, in early to mid summer and as cattle are sold off grass their uh, replacement store cattle are bought in. We also uh, raise through uh, about 15-20% of the finished stock come from uh, calves that are we rear on farm, they're bought locally from uh, local dairy herds. Stock generally is made up of a mixture of Angus, Hereford and continental cattle, basically whatever value there is in the mart when the date of cattle are being uh, bought in. Although we keep our costs low, we still maintain a level of small spend on an annual basis on certain items to make sure that we can maximise the output from the farm. So that's an annual spend that's on items such as uh, reseeding every 10 years in certain paddocks. We've implemented a paddocking system. Uh, we've put in a new uh, watering a trough system that works quite well to allow us to fully maximise gra grass output and graze out paddocks through a rotation system. Uh, we annually get our soil sampled, soil tested uh, to make sure our levels of fertility are at a, a good level, uh, at required levels. We'll uh, lime certain fields as, as and when required. Um, and also then it's cutting our grass, cutting our silage for our winter feed fodder at the right time of the year to make sure we get good quality uh, forage for the cattle uh, and good levels of, of, of DMD. Um, really key is that cattle are achieving a certain level of uh, daily gain, weight gain through the whole cycle from when they, they arrive on the farm, not just uh, in the weeks uh, prior to being uh, slaughtered, but it's important that there is a level increase in, in weight gain from, from the outset. For our calves that are reared on farm, uh, they're fed six to seven litres twice daily on gain easy mix. And we introduce them onto an early ration from the onset, get their room and development, and move them on to gold grain. Uh, and then once we turn them out to grass, feeding them once a day, we then get them onto wean and build and get them developing through the summer season, the first grazing se season. They will be fed on through the first winter uh, when they're housed, again trying to feed and make good quality silage. We, we try to get our cattle finished out in uh, early to mid June um, and we find that, uh, that that reaches the, the peak beef price uh, in, in the factories. And we really find that the feeding the concentrate levels really gives the cattle that extra push to get them finished out within the timelines. The beef herd that we have here and the, and the target animals that we buy in, it's the it's very much dictated by the genomics in the dairy herd. Um, most cattle we buy here are cross-bred cattle, so um, the cattle coming out uh, of the sheds around Patrick's uh, day, they'll settle on grass and we'll start to introduce the meal bin over the last uh, four to five weeks. Uh, with good conditions, weather conditions, you'll find that uh, the extra concentrate of gain, fast finisher, can bring cattle through to finish in within uh, two to three weeks.